What have we got? Something very exciting has just arrived. I wonder if it's going to have the nice box inside because it's from Curry's, but it's an Apple product. Oh, this is the most money I've ever spent on an individual item before in my whole life. I'm 26 years old. It really makes me feel like an adult. It's like the price of like buying a bloody car. Yeah, it's it? actually more expensive than my car was. At least you don't have to pay laptop tax. <laughs> oh my gosh. Which way is it up? This way? Come on. What? Oh, that's a little thing. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I have to take a picture of this. Now, how do I do this up? We need to do a Casey Neistat. Oh god! Throw it. Throw yeah. it on the floor and hope it opens. Just stab your knife in it. They really do like. Their design is just like, I want to savor this moment because I'm just so excited. How do you open it? Does it open at the back as well? Yeah, it's like the vacuum. <gasps> Look at it! Oh my God! This is just... Does, I'm sorry, this, I know, I'm, I'm not really aware I'm on camera right now and I'm just, I'm. This brings me so much joy and excitement, so I'm just gonna act like a crazy person and you can judge me, but this is so exciting to me. <gasps> I don't wanna open it, I'm so nervous. Why is it so satisfying? Oh my God, I went for the space gray. It looks really cool. on i didn't know it would do that oh my god smell it oh now you can play with it all day it all looks really different my old, get, my, get my old computer where's that this one feels so much bigger and even like the command like this just says cmd but this actually says the word option and it's Ooh. like so much smaller and it's got the touch bar How, what's this, the is so, this feels so clunky like this is literally it's half the way the main language. Press the return key. <gasps> Oh my god, the touch bar is so big and it doesn't have because mine has oh no it's similar. Oh the click! Ah oh, look at the little thing! Sorry, I just like to get as much enjoyment from it as I can and be like really over the top while I can. That click though. You like, do you think I mm. Do you think I went for the right colour, space grey? How's the touchpad thingy? I, I don't want to do it yet. Oh. oh my god. I can't remember my password. Oh, I know what it is. It's my login. Oh, Enter details. security code. How the fuck do I know what that is? <laughs> they always ask you for password after password after code after code, and it's like, what? Well, I have never seen this code before, and I have no idea what it's for. Oh. Well, excuse my nails, I've just been chopping mushrooms. So they've got like mushrooms underneath them. It's not dirt, I swear. It's mushroom. It's mold. <laughs> it's mushrooms. OMG. <gasps> ah! I like this a lot. Do you want one? Yeah. Can you buy me one? We can get, we, you can get one in a few yeah. years. I like how the screen is a lot like... Closer to the edge. Yeah, less beautiful. So it's, it's actually, it looks a lot smaller. So I'm scared of it. Isn't it, it like falling. lighter than the MacBook Air in a way? Or so like it, it looks Air. a lot smaller, but if you look, the screen is the same, even though the laptop is quite like maybe like a centimetre less. Do you see like the size of the screen yeah. is like maybe half a centimetre less. Let's see the width. The width is probably about the same, but it's 
the same width and this is so much heavier and chunkier even though this laptop is still fine the reason i've got a new one because i don't know if we've said is because this one's been playing up i think we, we did, did say, we did say that, yeah. but it's been playing up and because i got it at university i used it for just like searching on the internet writing essays that kind of basic usage so i didn't need anything fancy so this was like the cheapest so base, uh, base model yeah base model like macbook pro you could buy so it was like 900 pounds whereas now i do a lot of video editing a lot of photo editing and a lot of just i need like space on my laptop to a lot more processing power and more space to save stuff because i have a lot of videos and photos i have backed up on my hard drive but it's just very frustrating not being able to save anything on my computer so this one we went for the one with a lot more space and it's just an investment i needed to make for my business so that mm. i can actually edit because it used to take about five or six hours to export a video on this like a 10 minute video it would sometimes do it in three hours but it was just packing up and then the other day I dropped it and the Wi-Fi stopped working so I just thought you know what there's been so many problems and it's caused so many issues with, with like videos and YouTube recently when it's delayed things for me I didn't want to run into any problems I wanted to buy a new one before like this one completely packed up and then I was screwed you know like if there was a video that I had to upload or something it's just about time I haven't had a new one for six years so I feel like I have to justify these things to myself because I don't buy expensive things anymore mm. i just never really do i don't really buy a lot anymore so when you buy something like this also i feel very proud of myself because being able to afford to uh spend that sum of money in one go just on a whim is something i'm so proud of myself for because we have been on such a budget and been saving so much money and trying to be good and also doing well on youtube and i just it's like my i feel like i'll look back and remember this as like my purchase that i made that like marked, I don't know, do you know what I mean? Mm. That marked that I was doing well, we were doing well and everything was going good and I was able to like, like this camera, I always remember this first camera and this laptop, being able to afford to spend money on our business and put money into the equipment that we use um, just shows that we're doing well and it's all going well and it's kind of like we've achieved what we wanted to achieve. I feel very happy. Yay! I'm gonna have to, I don't know how I'm gonna do any work now, like how I'm gonna film anything. We're supposed to film a video because I wanna sit here and play with my laptop. Oh, look at my hair. Hi everyone. I think you should use it as incentive. When you film the video, then you can edit. I know. On the laptop. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> it's for you. It's the extra cable that spending nearly two grand on a laptop doesn't provide you. So you have to spend an extra 10 pounds to get a USB slot. How ridiculous is Apple? We didn't get the Apple one though because that was like 15 quid, wasn't it? This was 10? 20. 20. Yeah. As if you spend two grand and on I a think laptop. That's, that's after they brought the price down after people got upset. Was it more than that? Was it like 30 or 50 quid or something? I think quid? so. I couldn't find the original price. I can't, like when I saw, like I love the laptop, don't get me wrong, but like when I saw that they only had Thunderbolt cables and that's it, I just thought, I can see what they're doing, but like if that's what they're doing, it should come with a USB yeah, yeah. adapter and a memory card yeah. adapter. I appreciate that they're trying to push technology forwards, but you need like you need a, the adapters you need to come a with bridge it. in the meantime, mm -hmm. especially when you're paying that much. So we've got three, oh there's three of them, and then the memory card one. Yeah. Pretty sure Manny had food in her hair for that whole shot. A much more exciting delivery has arrived though. Much more exciting than your laptop or any adapters. Ta-da! Yeah, Ben and Jerry sent us some, well they sent me. <laughs> Where is the stuff? Oh. The swag. They sent me the, some free Ben and Jerry coupons because they're doing some kind of campaign for the environment. Unleash the power of wind. You and do that every Jen night in bed. Good one. They're more than just making the chunkiest, swirliest ice cream around. We believe if it's melted, if it's melted, it's ruined. And so we're proud to be standing up for climate justice and joining our partners over at 1010 to unleash the power of wind. But now onshore wind developments are effectively banned by some pretty hefty planning permission blocks. So we're asking our friends to join us and calling on the UK government to lift these blocks. Not only is wind set to be the UK's cheapest form of power, but the British public are big fans with more than 76% of the population in favour. There's no planet B. So it's time to petition for a change for the with the Blown Away campaign, visit benandjerry.co.uk slash climate to make your voice heard. We'll link it below. It's not sponsored. I just sent you it. Yeah, but I, I think that if a brand's trying to, you know, 
I know that it's for promotion, I know it's for marketing, but I think it's good to support if they're trying mm. to change the government's mind about that. I'm all for it. And I'm all for free ice cream. Yeah. The only issue is they sent us a tote bag. Um, oh, yeah. And obviously, because Ben and Jerry's mainly use cow's milk, it has a big cow on it in Ben and Jerry's, which is kind of anti-vegan message, isn't it? But mm. They should do one with a big like almond on it. Because that's what the rest of their ice cream is yeah. made of. It's a cute cow, but then it, it just makes me think that most Ben and Jerry's ice cream is yeah. made from poor cows. That well, we'd have to. Mm. But they have vegan ice cream, so yeah. I look insane. But they have. I think the only one that I know of in the shop that doesn't have gluten in it as well is the yeah, chunky, the chunky monkey one, which is like the banana one. So we can well, get, we could try to, one of them. But I wouldn't be able to eat it anyway because of my problems. No, right now. in the future, I don't know. Thanks, or, Ben and Jerry's. Hello. In case you couldn't tell by what I think is the third different t-shirt I'm wearing in this vlog, it is the next day. I think we got a bit too excited by the free Ben and & Jerry's and the new laptop and we kind of completely forgot to film after we had dinner. Never mind. Um, I had intended to, you can probably see the marks on the wall behind me, I tried to uh, put the bikes up that evening and failed miserably because the wall isn't strong enough at the top. So. I'm sorry, but I failed you. And there's no bike on the wall. But I'm just gonna tack this on at the end because I do have footage of me failing miserably to attach the bike, so I'll stick that on now. And the next time, I swear I'll have it on the wall. And we'll have news of a holiday coming up very soon that we're taking. Probably won't tell you where, or will we? But that's for next time. See you then. <laughs>